Hey everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm the follow-up victim advocate for people against rape. And I am here to talk to you guys for the third week of our virtual health education series about the concept of virginity. So when, I, you, when you look up the word virginity in the dictionary, it usually always talks about an unmarried girl or a woman, a woman of virtue. So it's very um, woman-centered. Um, when you look at the thesaurus and you see purity and cleanliness, honor, integrity, restraint, virtue, and being free of sin. Um, and those words carry a very weight, a very heavy weight with them um, that can lead people to feel negatively about themselves once they engage in sexual intercourse or activities. Um, another thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is how it's very heteronormative. Um, we all know that sex can happen between people of many different genders um, and that we only and we don't only have two genders of female and male. There are a lot of not non binary people and people of other genders um, and so this idea of virginity is very focused on penis and vagina and it leaves out a huge part of our population. Um, and so I think that's kind of really, really important to mention. Um, also, the idea that virginity is something that you have to achieve and it makes you a better person when you're a virgin. And I think that definitely flip flops when it comes to um, gender. So typically someone who is female presenting, they would be considered like the holiest of holy because they haven't had sex with somebody. Um, and when you look at men or male presenting individuals, if you haven't had sex, there's something wrong with you and you're not living up to the expectation of your manhood or masculinity. So all of these things can play a huge part in people's decisions of deciding when to have sex, who to have sex with, you know, and then how they feel about themselves after having sex. You know, someone who is in an environment where they feel that being a virgin is a huge part of their identity and who they are and makes them good and clean. And as soon as they decide to have a sec, you know, have a sexual encounter, um, they may feel dirty and filthy and like they are unclean or unworthy of love or respect from other people. And that's a message that we carry so often when we're talking to young children um, about the topic of sex. So if you want to hear more about that and some of the other concepts that might come along with virginity, make sure you check out our live Facebook video or live Facebook discussion tomorrow on the Empower page. It's E-M-P-O-W-E-R-R. -R. Um, and we're going to have a live panel discussion where we talk about not only virginity, but also about sex education um, and how that can impact people's making people making decisions about themselves when it comes to sex. So thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.